this is the real deal. You may just now be seeing talk of the DNS changer on social media sites, some calling the change in software the end of the Internet. And while that seems a bit dramatic, there is some truth to it. So that will mean the people that were infected are not going to have Internet access anymore until they fix their computers. The infection Hawk is referring to is due to a malware program created by a group of hackers several years ago. The DNS changer program infected millions of people's computers around the world through an online ad campaign that redirected computers to malicious servers. The hackers have since been busted by the FBI and a government designed program which redirects infected computers to two safe dummy servers was created in its place last year. So the threat has actually already been taken care of and so uh, the bad servers uh, no longer exist but what they're doing is trying to get the word out that they're not going to keep these um, fake internet servers up forever. Hawk says the two government servers are costly to maintain and they're only there for those whose computers are still infected with the malware. The easiest solution, find out if your computer is one of them by clicking any of the links on our Fox 17 website. All the sites they will walk you through. If it detects an infection, it will uh, give you a process of how to clean out your computer. Hawk says it only takes a few minutes to run the software through these sites. What you're looking for is the green light that tells you your computer is looking up IP addresses correctly. Erica Curry, Fox 17 News.